All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and, and praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. All right, that is Paleo Hebrew name, the, in the Lashawan Kodash, all right, for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai meaning the Deliverer, also who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, by Hashem, in the name of Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, that is the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, pertaining to Acts 4 and 12, and neither other will we find salvation. All right, that is the power of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and the speckled bird, whose father's line goes back <clears throat> to Israel, all right? Um, I'd like to give double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of GMS, all right? Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful leg Akim, spreading this truth and knowledge throughout the four corners of the earth, all right? And shalom to the elect, the Bayath Shah, that would die, the house of David, all right, the men, women, and children listening and learning and striving for salvation. This is the brother Karathazov out of the Men of Valor, Las Vegas camp. Okay, back with another lesson today. This one's going to be entitled, Early Development Creates Long-Term Su Success. What we're going to be going over today is, you know, um, early development in this truth, you know, the scriptures speak about learning this truth while you're young, all right? And the scriptures also speak about, you know, when we are, uh, you know, we have to be retaught. And uh, the scriptures refer to us as newborn babes when receiving this truth, all right? Being born again. So, Lord willing, you know, um, this lesson is edifying as always. We're going to go ahead and get started and um, going over the importance of learning this truth and keeping the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yashai as a youth, all right? In the youth at a young age, okay? This is Proverbs 22 and 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Okay. We are the, the, the Lord likens us to, to as children, the children of Israel. All right. And he is, you know, constantly correcting us through chastisement and um, getting us, you know, prepared for the kingdom through um, through this current captivity but but through this you know correction period we are in you know our captivity in Babylon the great right under the the rulership of, of this devil Esau Edom the so-called white man all right see if if um if the Israelites, you know, our ancestors would have, you know, kept the ways, the law, statutes, and commandments, the covenant that that we had um, took, you know, that oath that was made through our forefathers in the times of Moses, all right, we wouldn't be in this case right now. But ultimately, it was all a part of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua's will and plan to perfect us. And that's, that's the uh, main thing of this punishment. The main reason behind this punishment is so the Israelites will be perfected, all right? Pertaining to Zechariah 13 and, and 9, you know, where that gold tried in the fire. You know, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 says that we are Yahweh's um, peculiar treasure, all right? And currently we're being refined through chastisement to be, um, you know, perfected. But 
being refined to bring back that image of the power that the Most High made us in. All right, this is Sirach 16 and 18. It says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Okay, so gather instruction. What is instruction? Direction. Yahweh Shem Yashai gave us the directions, but we chose not to follow them. And now we're, we're, you know, starting with the apostles and the teachers of this truth, all right, and the prophets on the highways and byways. We're re, um, we're re-entering or re-dedicating our our life to the instructions that were, you know, that perfect instructions, all right. We're going back to the ways of old, the the starting with the Ten Commandments, but the 613 Mosaic Laws. Okay? Hey, those rehearsing the righteous acts will be saved from the arches. Those, those arrows, all right, those ICBM missiles. All right? But relearning and reteaching these laws is... Isn't the most important thing right now? The faith is, but but um, that that practice of them, all right? Because in that second covenant, when Yahweh Bashim Yahshua gives us those new bodies, all right, that's going to be instilled. Those laws are going to become pre-programmed, so to say, so to speak, pre-programmed with those new bodies. So an Israelite man, man, woman, or child will never go off again. All right, and that's the beauty of it. All right, but we're being made ready. The elect is being made ready for those new bodies. All right, through the through chastisement. This is a uh, Ezekiel three and nine. It says, "As an adamant, harder than flint, have I made thy forehead." Right, because Israel, as a nation, is a rebellious, uh, stiff-necked people. Okay, that's what it means to make thy forehead hard. You can't receive nothing. You know, stuck in your own ways. All right, that's the downfall of two thirds of our people not being willing or having a, a open mind to receive this truth. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai made them that way. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. I guess I should have started at, uh, at verse 8. But it's all right. I'll read down one more. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears, and go thee to them of the captivity. All right, our people are in captivity, the Israelites, so called Negro, Latino, and Native American unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord Power, Yahweh, whether they will hear or whether they will bear. So it don't matter if you don't believe this truth. All right? The Most High is going to make you believe it. All right? One way or another, he's going to prove himself to be true. Just like you. I had this lesson up and now my I just to open a new tab. Let's see. I had this lesson up for a couple of days. I, I wasn't able to get it. I'm going. Probably need to restart my computer, but Lord willing, this will load or I'll be able to pull it up in a new page. All right, here we go. That one ain't gonna work. This is gonna be Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 5. So like, yeah, I thought I had this pulled. Okay, here we go. Deuteronomy 8 and 5, thou shalt also consider in thy heart 
that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy power. Yeah, how would thy power chasteneth thee? Okay. So therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy power to walk in his ways and to fear him. So, all right, we should be fearful of the punishment or judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, okay? Now it says, He chasteneth whom he loveth, okay? And you would, you know, read more into that chastisement or the reasoning behind chastisement in Hebrew, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, all right? Pretty much goes over, explains the reasoning of it, all right? But we're going to touch on it right now. Uh, Proverbs, because our people, remember, going back to Ezekiel, people are hard-headed, all right? So, if you correct them while you're young, there's going to be that, that long-term success. All right, now, our long-term success is going to be um, fulfilled in the kingdom after Yahweh sends Yahweh sends Yahweh Shai down to redeem us, okay? This is Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. See, in the previous um, scripture, it said, he that uh, the Most High chasteneth whom he loveth. Okay, so if you're not, you know, if you're holding back on um, chastising it, all right, or not whooping your, your, your kid to get right when he goes off, then that doesn't show your love because I, uh, as a, you know, as a father, you would want to see your child do the right thing. This is because he is a, a that that child is a um you know now holds you know your name all right and you want to have a good name for a house for the for your house because that's your reputation then Yahweh Bashim Yashai say that um you know for his namesake okay and right now we're uh, the Israelites as a whole have given you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, a bad reputation, all right? He that through their um, iniquities, okay, and not, and, you know, just not adhering to the ways he had set out, you know. This is a uh, Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be time, so chasteneth him early, all right? It says, you know, Train up a child in the way he should go. All right, early, early as uh, what did I what did I say? This the title. Of this was early development leads to long term success. Proverbs twenty three and thirteen. Without withhold not correction from the child, for it for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Right, thou shalt beat him with the rod. And shall deliver his soul from hell. So, you know, it's like if if you correct your child, all right, and ass whooping not gonna kill him. What's gonna kill him if he if he keeps on going running around doing uh, the folly of this world? You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is gonna judge him. He gonna judge his ass, and, and that's what's gonna lead him to hell. All right, and this hell. It's talking about the grave, not not no uh, not no uh, fiery underworld. All right, that is not the definition of hell. It's actually going to do a lesson on that. See, it's Shaul, Shaul, or Shaul in the Hebrew, and all it's going to mean is the grave. In one second, my computer is slow. I should have restarted it. Slacky again. See, grave, hell, pit. Okay. And pull it back up. Right here. It says, grave, 
Hail Pit. All right. So let's continue on. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. Now this is, right now what we're going into, you know, well, this law, you can relate this to the, the children of Israel as a whole right now. All right. This is what would happen if, you know, back in the day when a child was disobedient. All right. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father. Or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him out unto the elders of his city, and unto the gate of his place. And they, you know, the so the elders will get a hold of him. Hey, we can't. We try correcting him. He's still not listening, and that's. Ultimately, what's going to happen to you two thirds, Yahweh Bashim Yashah is just going to put the spirit on on these devils, you know, to amp things up. And we're seeing that, you know, starting to ha happen. But he's he's going to amp things up to where, okay, now it's time for for Putin or or whoever, you know. Well, we know Putin's going to push push the button, or somebody from from Russia. Now that's where the majority of those uh, ICBM missiles going to come from, but. The Lord's gonna have, you know, these these other nations. He's gonna put the spirit on them to, you know, have that evil thought. <laughs> He's gonna put the spirit on them to, you know, destroy, you know, Babylon the Great, aka America, for, you know, punishment for judgment. First and foremost, the judgment of our own people. That's what people don't understand. Is, uh, you know. Our, uh, you know, this uh, judgment and, and the reasoning behind, you know, our, uh, you know, dislike, our hatred for uh, this devil. Okay. Let's get this. It's a righteous hatred. But we also have that right, righteous hatred to two thirds of our nation too, because we see them in, in their, their wickedness right now. So this is. Deuteronomy 21 and 20, and they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard, and all the men of the city shall stone him with stones, that he will die. So shalt thou put, away, put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. Okay, so... Just like relating it to the two thirds who are going to see judgment on this side, all right. Hey, did it not say in Second Corinthians five and eleven, we persuade men through the fear and terror of our Lord? Okay, so knowing that judgment has brought the elect back, you know, unto the fold, unto the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to the best of their ability. Okay, and Yahweh Bashimi and Al-Shah is going to put evil away forever. Going pertaining to Amos 9 and, and 10. All right, that wicked seed line in Israel is going to be done. Shit. That was happening again. Proverbs 19. I believe. Uh, let me see this real quick. So here again, let me check these tabs real quick. So, all right, it looks like nothing's loading. Maybe suck you. Bear with me one minute. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to pull these up on a different tab because they're not working. Or will I not remember what scriptures they were? Okay, here we go. 19, uh, Proverbs 19 and 18. Chasten thy son while there is hope. Okay, these two thirds right now have no hope. All right. But if we were, you know, living righteously from the jump, hey, this chastening would happen. And, and, uh, you know, the, you know, that correction would be made. This is also, you know, correction that we need to be doing ourselves and with, with inside of the body, All right? You want to correct the problem where there's still a chance to, to be, um, to, to benefit off the, off the ways, you know, before you go too far. All right. A righteous man will follow seven times and, and get it back up, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right. It says, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. So we're supposed to, you know, chastise, you know, rebuke one another, you know, be, be long suffering with one another until, you know, uh, hey, until it's, and, and, until, all right, so like you want to, you know, Chasten the son, all right, whether you hear his crying or not, because he, even though it be grievous or, you know, uh, you know, we got to be long suffering with our brothers, all right, so we got to correct, you know, rebuke, exhort, uh, rebuke, reprove, exhort, and Second Timothy 4, you know, instant in season, out of season, be long suffering with doctrine, okay, so. Yeah, the, the Lord hears, hears our cry, you know, from this captivity. But, hey, we were so far gone. This is the only way to get out of it. All right. But right now, you know, we're seeing the, the we're seeing that, you know, these two thirds, the wicked of our nation have no hope. They're too far gone, too far indoctrinated with Esau Edom's philosophies. The Western philosophy has, you know, destroyed them completely. This is Sirach 18, uh, 6 and 18 again. My son, gather instruction from thy youth, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. Okay? We would be making smarter decisions if we had instructions from as a youth. Simple as that. Here we go again. My apologies, I can't. You know, this is what, you know, Yahweh Shai had to say about, you know, um, calling us children. See, it says, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what I press right now. Um, Matthew's eighteen and three says, and, and said, verily, I say unto you, except ye be converted, you know, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that's, you know, pretend we have to be, you know, converted in the mind. All right, uh, you know, let thee from go from the mortal thoughts. You know, Second Edges fourteen and fourteen. All right, we have to uh, have a renewal and, and of our of our mind, as the Apostle Paul said. See, so so you know we have to be, you know, as children. Why? Because a ch child or you know a babe, a newborn babe, doesn't know anything. They only know what they're taught, okay, or what they they perceive this world to be. All right. So that's how we enter the kingdom, you know, following after the ways of Yahweh Shimei Shai. 
Okay, but we had to, you know, reteach ourselves and relearn the correct way. All right. So at one time, yeah, you know, we are, you know, being born again, you know, you are like a child again. So when you're in that early development stage, it's important that you eat the roll. All right, as it says in Ezekiel, eat the whole roll. You know, but also, you know, that they, they, you're being fed, you know, milk. You know, you're being fed the basics. You're, uh, you know, watching only one camp. And that camp should be GMS, the starting with the apostles of GMS. Because they're going to feed you the, the truth. They have the 100% truth of the Bible. Okay? This is... Um, so yeah, you know, you want to make sure you're, you're eating the right things. All right. This is a uh, Isaiah 33 and six and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of, and the strength of salvation. Sorry, let me start that again. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. And who fears the Lord? The elect does. All right. And that's, that's the foundation of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. All right. And wisdom and stability is going to give you uh, the tools, you know, from Yahweh Bashim al Shai, those tools to endure Jacob's trouble. Okay. But you have to be fed the right things, you know, from an early age, right? It's going to make it easier. It's going to increase your chances, all right? So when you came into this, or come coming into this truth, all right, you need to have that childlike mindset. Soak up all the information you can in the short amount of time. This is the grace period. All right. But, you know, this goes to show, you know, and proves that, um, you know, that the, the basis of this lesson, you know, early development leads to long term success. Second Timothy 3 and 15. And from that, a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? Which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. See, let's get that straight. The um, keeping of the law isn't going to save you, all right? The just shall live by faith, and, and faith is going to be the foundation, all right, and, and keys to salvation. All right, but having that faith is gonna make you, um, you know, live righteously, follow the laws to the best of your ability. Okay, let's not get it twisted. We still gotta practice the laws, but we know that the 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 sacrifice Yahweh Mashiach made was, you know, a, a was to lift us from the penalty of law or else we all be dead right now okay but it says and from that i'm gonna read it one more time we're gonna close out and from that a child and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation so um the scriptures make you wise unto salvation okay and and uh pretty much you know the, the earlier you get it or the earlier you, you start doing it, all right, the earlier you, you receive this truth. And when, once you receive it, all right, you start putting that action behind your, your beliefs, you know, whether it be um, to, uh, you know, cert certain things in the law that you could change, you know, we're not, just as in the times of 
circumcision. You know, they they weren't, um, you know, they didn't change overnight because they still were living by the customs of heathen nations. But once you make that transition and, and living your life accordingly, it, it's going to make you wiser to salvation, giving you a better opportunity, you know, Lord willing, to be a part of the elect. All right. But the Most High is going to put the Spirit on the elect to do, to act as the elect, all right, and we're seeing that being played out today. So, you know, Lord willing, the point was made. I wasn't. I want to make it clear, you know, wrapping things up that, uh, you know, that we are the Israelites are the children, all right, and not everybody receives this truth as a, a child, but we are all liking them to children, okay, and that, you know, the earlier one receives this truth, okay. Um, you you are developed for salvation. Uh, you are better developed for salvation, okay, in understanding this gospel. So, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I hope the point was made. Um, once again, the title of it was Early Development Leads to Long-Term Success. All right, and with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful like Akim, teaching this truth about the four corners of the world. All right, and to the Bayasha, Dawada, the house of David, men, women, and children listening to, and learning. All right, I want to say Shalom, Kwam Yasharala, Wa Baba Baba.